What's up, everybody? A Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we were... Oh, that's an interesting fish there. Uh, we were in the Grand Reef looking for stuff and things, and we found most of them. We got some aluminum oxide crystals, which is good. Extra gold, quartz, diamond, blah, 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 blah. Um, in fact, I think what I may do is go ahead and use some of this locker space that I always seem to forget about um, and dump some of this stuff in there. We're going to make our way out here. We're in the blood kelp zone now. And I kind of... Ugh, hate those things. I kind of by accident ended up next to this... Um, next to this wreck, but I really wasn't looking for it or anything like that. And I figured while we're here I might pick up some of this um, some of the materials around here. I don't know if I can get these blood kelp trees or not. Gabe's feather. I got a seed there. Or maybe it's possible, I don't know, maybe it's possible to plant the blood kelp, or the, the blood oil, from around the trees, maybe. While we're here, I feel like it would be kind of a bad idea to just ignore this wreck, though. I mean, I don't know in particular that there's anything important on it. Ugh, these warpers are all around me. I don't think there's anything crazy. Oh, I have my sea moth with me, too. I totally forgot about that. I've been running quiet, so the the ship's kind of dark. Um, and a little harder to find. Alright, I need to get in the ship. Oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Oh gosh, I didn't realize these took up so much space. Um, let's see, we'll put these for... I don't know what some of this stuff is for, actually. I mean, I know what the blood oil and stuff is, but... Um, or if it has any benefit or use or anything like that. What's this? Arena Knight? Might as well. Um, let's see, there's a hole in the ship, so let's see if we can't kind of poke our heads around in here and see if there's anything important, because quite frankly, like I said, I really didn't even think about there being a wreck here. Ooh, a PDA. Um, I was kind of just exploring for the blood oil because I need it for, I think it's aerogel? Maybe? Don't rightly remember. Looks like they had a cave-in area here. There's a something. Oh, open a data box. What? What is that? That's new. Never ran into that before. I wonder what that did. Alright, we're just gonna go out the bottom here. I don't know if there's anything else in there or not. Uh, just as kind of a quick glance, it didn't look like we missed too much. Thirty seconds. So I'm gonna err on the side of probably not. This warper man is like right here. He is all about this hatch. Okay, quartz, uranite, blueprints. Cyclops sonar upgrade. Oh! Polinoline. Polinoline? And magnetite. Oh, magnetite was the other thing. I still don't really know where to get that from. Um, I think... I don't really remember what I needed it for. But I remember wanting it for something. Was it the thermal reactor? Maybe it was the thermal... Magnetite. Yeah, that's what that... Okay. 
So we don't really need that right now. Um, and what I'm thinking is I found online a coordinate set for uh, basically where the easiest place to find the gel stuff is, the gel sacks, which give you what you need for the aerogel. So it is over in the shallow reef, or the safe shallows, or whatever it's called, shallow reef, sh safe shallow, something like that. Um, but it's in like a specific trench or something, and that's why I couldn't find it. So we're gonna head that way and see if we can't find that stuff, because I think that's the last little piece of the puzzle we need in order to make the prawn suit. Alrighty, so we are looking here at this trench where they do in fact spawn. We're really close to the aurora, um, so that should give you some idea of kind of where we are. And there's our safe pod type of thing. So let's go ahead and go gather some of these things. Now, I don't know. This is another one of those where I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. So I'm just going to grab what I can grab. I only take up one slot, so... Might as well. I honestly haven't been really into this area too much. I usually come over here, get the uh, Aurora stuff, and then leave and hardly ever come back. Uh, but there's apparently some decent stuff over here between um, the gel stuff that we need and then some extra titanium stuff because, you know, I always complain about how eventually you start kind of running out of resources around your area because you kept um, using the area, like the quartz and titanium and all that kind of stuff starts wearing thin. Um, but there's areas like this and stuff where I kind of forget about them, but they are around to use. Oh, by the way, I think I had damage on my ship. I do. I think I bumped a cliff or something coming through the shallows. One thing that'd be interesting is can I see... You can! Oh, that's awesome. So you can just look through the window and see if you're still damaged or not. That's kind of great. I don't want to go too much further. I honestly don't see any more. How many did we get? We got four. Oxygen. Uh, real Welcome quick. Captain. All systems online. Let's see. Advanced aerogel. So it's one to one. So that means. Where's the prawn suit? I need two aluminum oxide and two aerogel, so that makes four of the crystals, but only two of the gel sack. And I think I had four. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I had an extra aluminum oxide. Uh, let's just give it a once over real quick in this vicinity. Ooh, there's a wreck over here. I did not know this either. What is that? Is that just a light? Yeah, it's just a light. Boo! Alright, where... I mean, there's gotta be something in here, right? Hmm. Hmm. Where's the door? Come on. Oh, there it is. Wait. Yep. I like the repair ones over the laser ones. The repairs move a little bit faster. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on our air. Is there anything in here, though? There's just, like, a bunch of... junked lockers and things, and I guess there was a med kit, but... Does this go further in or out? Oh, I'm so gonna die now. Yeah, we need to come back. I am running out of air. That is never a good situation. I wonder why my lights are on. They came on automatically, I guess, when I turned it to normal speed. Oxygen. 
Because once we got out of the main heavy areas, I switched back over. What was that? We didn't get hurt. Nothing hit us. Eh, whatever. Um, I don't actually know if there's anything in that wreck, so I think for now I'm just going to leave it. Because I'd kind of like to work on some other stuff. Um, one thing I wanted to kind of show off a little bit was... We didn't really play too much with the speed settings last episode. Uh, because we were trying to stay under the radar. Now... Or under the sonar, as it were. Now, for me... I feel like this is about the normal speed that it, the Cyclops went before. Like, based on sound and movement and everything, this feels about like how it normally ran. This says standard. standard. But that feels a little bit faster and higher pitch to me. Oh boy. I'm activating the loading thing. And then you have flank. flank. Emergency camping. And that's definitely new. Like, we definitely could not go that fast before. But it's a nice addition. I like it. Uh, particularly for areas like the safe shallows and stuff. Ooh, where, um... You know, you kind of just want to get up and go. And move around a little bit. The only thing you gotta watch is moving faster... You have less time to compensate if you, you know, say, overcompensate and run into a wall. Or something to that effect. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Rig for silent running. Return it to silent running. Just, just because. Not because there's any particular reason. That was interesting. I think the game thinks there's water there and there isn't. Alright, how are we looking? I don't know if they use less power in um, silent running mode or not either. That would be another interesting test to run. Is does it actually slow down? And I'm not entirely sure what's going on with my plants here. Um, I replanted them like I always do, but somehow I've got a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're planted. They're not growing. That's weird. So you can kind of see them a little bit. Right there. And where's the other one? That's weird. It's like they're planted, but they're not growing. I don't know what to make of that. I also don't know why my frame rate is a little choppy right now. I mean, we're not doing anything super crazy or whatever, and I'm running 15 frames. I don't know what that's about. Um, uh, actually, do I ha I do have room. I need to bring more stuff with me. might leave some of this other stuff, like the diamonds, the gold, um, some of the plant stuff that I don't really need, and we'll take the more important ones with us. I don't really remember what the blood oil was for. I just remember thinking I needed three, and I don't really know why now. Uh, we might try maybe process into benzene. What did I need benzene for? Gosh, I'm I'm oblivious sometimes to my own plans. Hey, what is that? Oh, that's actually locker one. I've been putting them in the wrong way. Eh. So apparently I did have a uraninite crystal in there already. Go figure. I don't know what's going on with uh, the frame rate here. I don't know why I'm aboard, chugging so much when there's nothing going on. I need to go back to the pod. Where is the pot? Um. Oh! Right above my head. Okay. So advanced materials. Benzene is three blood oil. 
but I honestly cannot synthetic fiber I needed for something fiber mesh and benzene okay starting to make sense now but what was it the reinforced dive suit got it we figured it out all right now for the prawn suit what did I need I needed two of those I really don't know why my frame rate is like idling at a really lower like 20 frames it usually is fine around here um, okay so we did that we have the aluminum oxide we need the lubricant and two plasteel which means I need lithium and two titanium ingots up oh. yeah I have salvage on me and I didn't I didn't break them don't know why Okay, so yeah, let me organize this a wee bit and break this stuff down and then I will be back when we're ready to build Le Suit. Alrighty, so what we have is two aerogel. I happen to have three, but I think you only need two aluminum oxide, two plasteel ingots, and two lubricant, and an extra uranonite crystal that I forgot to drop off in the chest. I also found you can plant the blood oil, and it makes blood vine trees. Or blood vines. So, yeah, that's another one of those. Now, I don't know. I'm assuming these work the same way as creep vine, that when you pull off the blood oil if you get say two or three you need to at least make sure you keep one that you can then place back into the tree planter to replant everything i think i'm not a hundred percent sure if they if they like regrow to where like if you just leave them fully grown do they just give you more blood oil or not i'm actually not a hundred percent sure if creep vine doesn't do that i always just chopped it down and planted more seeds and kept going um, so now I need to find my little mobile bay here. Um, maybe? That's okay. I hit climb. That was weird. I swear I hit it. Okay, uh, prawn suit. Make it happen. Uh oh. Hold up. Is that gonna fall? That's gonna fall right on the base, isn't it? Eh! Well, almost. Almost took the base out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about my good old friend Grand Admiral Prawn. <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoa, whoa, hey, hold on, where are you going? Where are you going? Actually, it has a decent amount of thrust for being unmodified and whatever. Like, I haven't done anything. Why are you sliding? Are you walking on ice? That was really weird. Alright, let's put you in the moon pool. Mainly so that I can customize it. I think this time, even though we name it, <laughs> um, can I do, I forget if I can do the whole thing or not. Oh wow, I can't spell Admiral, right? I think so. I don't think I can do Grand though. No. I can do G. Maybe I'll figure out what the abbreviation is at some point. Okay, we want the base be black. Uh, I think we've been using the name as white. Interior? Eh, screw it. Let's go with black. Then the stripe out here will do uh, white, I think. And then that's the inner one, and we'll do a blue for that, right? Let's see what that looks like. I think that looks good. I think that'll work. Oh, we got a message. For reals? I wonder if it's because we made the prawn suit 
Wait a minute, that's kind of that's kind of reddish purple or a lightish red. <laughs> um, that's not really what I was looking for. Let's bring it back more to the blue side, I guess. What's that? <gasps> Meh. It's still kind of reddish. I don't really, unless it's mixing with the orange, like if it defaults with orange or something, I'm not really sure why it's keeping its redder tone. I mean, it's different if I were to, whoa, 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 UI confusion. See, it's like, that's red. But then when I do this, it's trying to like keep it more weird. I don't, I don't think that's right. Like, that's more of a brown. I don't think the UI is set up correctly. Or, like I said, it might be mixing with, uh... It might be mixing with something. Because, see, when I get over here... It should be green, which it is, but then it should transfer into, like, a cyan and then a blue. And it's kind of just staying green. And then it goes red. So it's almost like the blue hue isn't really there. And even if it's there, it's not where it should be. Yeah, see, that's still more of like a... I don't know what that is. That's weird. Alright, change of plans. Let's try... Come on. Let's try and make this a bluer color. See, that works. But then this will make white. Let's see if we can roll that way. That's weird. Oh, yeah, see, it's not even... Okay, I really think it's going over orange. Because right now it's set for white, and it's definitely not white. That's orange. So I'm thinking that's a transparency thing and not really a proper color thing. Bug, I think. I think I found a bug. Even that's not black. So I guess we'll just go with that for now. No big deal. I'm not going to get caught up, caught up on... You know, all the... whether the colors are right of the suit or whatever. Uh, let's go check that message thing, though. I don't know why it keeps spitting me out below my base, but that's kind of irritating. Um, and in case anyone was wondering, because of trying to build the suit and all that stuff and everything, I don't think... Nine new biological subjects designated mode hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Agents? Agents, you say? Hmm. Well. Is normal... I love this, by the way. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power at your fingertips. Professional prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to try not to let it go to your head. I love that. I think that's so funny. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Um, let's see. How are our blood plants doing? 55, 45. Not bad. They're growing pretty good. Um, so yeah, I did use all of our blood oil. Because I figured, you know, that would help us get more in the long run. Um, I don't really know if anything else is particularly useful like we had that Gabe's feather and stuff like that but I don't know if you actually use it for anything or not um oh and we should probably check on the upgrades for the suit as well as change the ping manager let's do that actually probably should make these different colors but meh we'll leave them we'll leave them that way for now easier to see all right, prawn suits, what do we have? Thermal reactor, recharges power cells in hot areas, doesn't stack, kyanite, I've never even heard of that. Jump jet upgrade, kyanite, again. Prawn suit propulsion cannon, I don't have the blueprints for that. So I have no idea what kyanite is. That's something like, I don't even think I've encountered that before, so that's probably something that's either in an area we haven't been, or it's a combination that uses something that I don't have yet. Either way. 
Um, and then the regular upgrades. Storage module. I'm almost thinking um, maybe a power efficiency. Uh, I don't know what the default... I don't know what the default um, prawn suit's depth is. It's 900. Okay. Ooh, that was weird. So it can go 900 meters, but that's 1285 meters. Now, granted, that's not straight down, but it is still away. So... Plasteel would be another lithium, more titanium, another computer chip. I think I have the resources to do that other than the titanium. So I'm thinking, this is me, I'm thinking um, pressure compensator, maybe a power efficiency. I don't know how big of a deal power is going to really be, though, if I'm parking the, the Cyclops right down there and then, you know, you just hit piggyback with the so maybe not but maybe a pressure compensator definitely a hull reinforcement and then maybe a torpedo or a jump i don't know if i can make the jump jet ones or the thermals because that needs kyanite i think it comes stock with wait does does the prawn suit come with a torpedo launcher i know it comes with a claw That's a claw, and that's a claw. So I don't have a torpedo for this. A torpedo system. Um, actually, I can make a torpedo system for it, right? You can make torpedoes. Prawn suit propulsion and grappling gun. But the torpedo system's for the Seamoth, so I don't know if I actually can make that or not. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking a whole... A, a, Pressure and a hull reinforcement at least, and then maybe either a propulsion cannon if I can find out how to make it, or um, maybe just a bunch of hull reinforcements to make it real sturdy. I don't really know. Cyclops upgrades, Seamoth upgrades. Um, now, I could... Where's the Mark II... I have another aluminum oxide, so I could make a Mark II and just rip it out of my Seamoth and put it in the prawn suit. That's probably not a bad idea at all. I'm kind of thinking that would be a great idea. What does this require again? It's a uh, two plasteel ingots, so I need um, 20 titanium and two more lithium and a computer chip, which is silver, quartz, and two coral. Oh, that's what I meant to find out. I gotta figure out if you can make coral. So I wanna try this real quick. I'm gonna probably use what little time we have left. Real quick. I don't have a battery for my flashlight. It was charging. Ah, here we go. So I'm gonna grab three because well, I guess it won't matter. So let's grab two. And that will cover... Actually, let's grab all these because I think I need to make two computer chips for the full upgrades that I wanted to do. And if not, I'm sure I'll find a computer chip for something. But what I want to know is if I can place it somewhere, either in the alien habitat or in the grow beds or something. And see if I can actually... Trace precious metals used in computer fabrication. Okay, so that's not letting me plant it. These are outside underwater plants, Welcome so I doubt I can captain. put them in like a planter. And this has coral. Use planter. But it's not letting me. Bummer. Because that's another thing that with computer chips and stuff... I mean, I guess you don't need computer chips for anything that's actually um, expendable, like torpedoes or something. So, you know, I guess you don't really need them to be renewable. Um, 
I still just kind of always wanted to be able to make it renewable. But at the moment, I don't think I have the titanium to do the uh, the pressure compensator, but that's what I think we're going to do. Um, you guys can give me your feedback and let me know what you think, but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to pull the pressure compensator out of the Seamoth and put it in the prawn suit uh, once we upgrade it to a Mark II. And then after that, maybe work on uh, maybe a power efficiency, but I'm definitely thinking like two, um, like two, maybe two hull reinforcement so that we're a little more defended because down in the lava area, it'll probably get more dangerous. And then if I can do torpedoes, maybe that, but I don't think I can at the moment, even if I knew how. Or if it, even, like, even if it's in the game, I don't have the blueprint for it. It doesn't show up at all. So I don't know if they can do that or not. The, the prawn suit used to have torpedoes, if I, me if I remember correctly, but I don't remember how I got them. Uh, but anywho, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.